Oops, hang on. We need two. Two donkeys. Nobody around. That's my chance. Alright, we're done. We made it. Prank successful. Let's go. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hermitcraft. Today, guys, we got ourselves a fun episode planned. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff today. Uh, but first, we're checking our rocket shop in the shopping area. See if we made any diamonds off of this shop yet again today. And it appears we have done so. One diamond there. Very good. Couple diamonds here. Very nice. We got to refill these uh, fireworks here. We're running a little bit low. So we're going to fill these with some new fireworks. We also sold a... Uh, special box. I believe this is the Peace, Love, and Pinks box. So we got seven diamonds today, which, when combined with some of our excess diamonds from past sales to Hypno and Scar, actually allows us to craft a new diamond block for the shop here. So let's just go ahead and we will get this put in. Fantastic, but today, instead of focusing on building up more firework infrastructure, I want to focus on some of our other permits, because we've been, we've been kind of neglecting those permits for a long, long time now. So let's just take a look at what we got. So here are our permits, right there. We got all the horns, we'll get to that one, I got a plan for that one. Light gray glass, we got nilium, or nilium, we got gilded blackstone, all the amethyst, and white glass. So today, I think we're going to focus on the glass here because this is a collective item and I know for a fact that if we make our way over to the other side of the shopping district down this way, Etho has quite a few glass permits and so he's made like a little collection of glass uh, for purchase over here. Two diamonds per stack. So he's got yellow glass, he's got red glass, blue glass, etc. And since we have white and light gray, which are two of the best glasses, if I'm honest, uh, these are probably going to be used quite a bit. Um, we need to get these shops up and going and, yeah, join this little collective that Ito has started here. So I think <laughs> I think we'll start here. Is this actually Joe? Joe Hill's unaffiliated black glass pylon. <laughs> he made it, like, twice as tall as all the other ones. Okay, so, um, yeah, we may join this little area here where all the glass is taking shape. Uh, this may not be a permanent shop, but I think it's good to get this out uh, so that people can purchase glass from us if they need. So let's go ahead and we need to go gather some sand actually to smelt some glass and get our shop started. Smelting of the glass is happening, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see here, we got our glass rolling in from the sand that we mined. And now all we got to do is just pop it out and craft it up and so we're gonna do let's do like a, a couple stacks of white glass a couple stacks of gray glass uh and yeah we'll grab all the rest of this all the rest of this there we go make that into the gray variety there we go all right we're already on our way a couple stacks of each one we'll let the rest of this smelt up and then i got a few more dyes up here or we can go gather more at our factory uh so yeah it should be no problem getting a bunch of this stained glass. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, our glass shop now completed, filled with some white glass, two diamonds a stack, and some light gray glass as well, two diamonds per stack with our permits displayed proudly on the front of each shop and in their chest right here. So that will hopefully sell quite a bit. We're also right amongst the other members of the glass collective in the same, we have the same sort of shape. You know, some people decided to build theirs a little taller. <laughs> For whatever reason, but uh, yeah, everybody is like in the same space more or less. Uh, I think there's a few glass colors still missing um, But hopefully they will be added soon uh, as the glass collective sort of starts to work together toward a common goal Hopefully um, But yeah, those are our two shops we've made today and now we have to head on back to the uh, Firework factory because we got a lot of stuff to work out there today 
So welcome back to the base, everybody. Today we gotta make a few fireworks because we're going to fight a dragon soon, or actually a bunch of dragons soon. However, before we make the fireworks at the factory here, I want to show you guys something back here. We've made a new minigame, the first minigame in the gaming district, or it will be the gaming district. So if we fly back here behind our base, you can see a structure here, and there's a circle here. This is going to be like the center of the gaming district, and we've made a new game here called Pot Shot. Now, it's a pretty simple game. It's basically a race to fill up a decorated pot. One of these guys, if I get one of these out, make one of these, one of these guys. And the first person to fill this pot with 64 items so that the lamps go all the way to the top wins via fireworks shooting their pot. <laughs> uh, so we invited Asuma over here to play this game with us and let's see how it went. It's like, is this like the center of a gaming area here? Circle? I believe so. I think Zed and Tango made this giant circle which is going to be the center and then it's going to spread out like east and west from here. Nice. So I, I'm thinking this is it. I'm thinking this is it. It's huge. Yeah, it is, it is pretty cool. It's gonna be, it's gonna be big, but we need we need more games. <laughs> oh yeah. We need more games. I I have an idea. I have an idea for a couple of little games. So I just need to tinker around and find out if they're any fun. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you, you've got the first game in the gaming district. Yes, the first game in the gaming district. Pot shot. Pot shot. Pot shot. Oh, I love it. I was Dude, thinking when about... I saw the picture of this, it reminded mm -hmm. me of my Season 7 game, but it's like, it's totally different, right? Yeah, yeah, so the way this one works, X, uh, you craft up a pot here, you can use some of these sherds as well, like mix and match. Do I, do I do that, like, when the game starts, or can I do it now? You can do it now, you can do it now, I'm gonna make oh, okay. uh, my own right now, with a couple of different sherds. Uh, let's do that one, there we go. I feel bad using these, but then when you break the pot, you get the shirts back, so... Yeah, exactly. So when the game ends, you get them back. Yeah, yeah. Kind of reusable. Yeah. Well, that's a little fun so there. I'll put it like... Put it like that one. Yeah, perfect. perfect. Oh, dang, I've rotated mine. Oh, don't worry. Punch it? Yeah, you can, you can punch it and get it back. Yeah, there you go. Oh, the fishing rods. Cool. Sweet. Okay, so then you gotta get your blocks. You get one stack of any of these blocks. 64. I'm gonna uh -huh, use gotta the... gotta go honey, obviously. I'm gonna just throwing diamond blocks in there, cub. Gonna use the honey block. Yeah, I had them, so I was like, why not? You know, gotta have them, gotta have them. Okay, so then what we do is we race. Uh, so I'll just demonstrate here. So like, as you fill up more, you know, it goes up. The lamps yeah, go up. Yeah, got ya. And the first one to reach the top will have their pot destroyed by a firework. Oh, uh, I knew fireworks would be involved. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so there's also like a countdown, like I hit this button. So when you hear that, yeah, ding, okay. ding, that's when you start. High pitch ding. That's when we go. Okay. Yep. Yep. So you wanna you wanna right. give it a go? You wanna give it a shot? Yeah. Yeah. Should we rage some diamonds on this? Ah, uh, I mean we can. We can if you want to. What are you thinking? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking ten diamond blocks. Ten diamond blocks. Okay. You're on. Yep. You're on. All right, we're on ten diamond blocks. Dang. <laughs> it's right click, not left click. I just want to double check that as well. Right click, yeah, right click, yeah. Okay, okay, right. right. Honey, I, I, honey versus honeycomb. Okay, go. all right. I'll hit the button and then we'll start. Well, you want to do best of three? Oh. Let's do best of three here. Okay. Because it goes pretty quick. Okay, ready? First yep. game. Here we go. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, you got it! Yes. You got it! Nice! Got it. Good job, X. Good job. <laughs> there was a reason I responded to this so quickly. <laughs> well done. Oh. Well done. All right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, best of three. Like best of three. I'm feeling confident. Best of three. I'm feeling confident. Uh, okay, hold Can on. Can I press the button? Yep, go ahead. Go for it. Here we go. Oh, you got it! I got so, it, I got so it! So fast. Good job, X. I got that technique, man. You got do it. We, do we you even need it. to do a third round? Nope, nope, that's it. You got it. Make sure oh. you put your stuff back in the uh, in the chest and things. Now, X. Yes. Did you rebind anything for your clicking? Nope. Okay. Didn't okay. use an auto-clicker. I used right. more than one thing, guy. I'll tell you that. That's just the secret. Oh, right. so you have... Both left and right click, maybe? So you can do two no, clicks? No, no, I, I just, I use my left hand on my mouse, right? Like, I don't know if you can hear this, but... Can you hear that? 
A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, that's just me tapping my two fingers. Okay. Like, you can tap two fingers really fast. Oh, so you're and... butterfly clicking. Oh, the strats. Oh, it's, the oh strats. it's got a term. I like it. I yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering so... if somebody could do it, but yeah, congrats, X. Yeah. Let me get let me get your diamonds. Let me get your diamonds. Oh, hang on one second. Oh, <laughs> I could have walked away from there. I'd forgotten. I was just go. very Ten. confident because... Uh... Yeah, I, don't, I don't think a lot of people think to do that with the mouse, but yeah. Oh, Ooh. look at me. There you go. There you go. Learning. Learning some big bucks. Right <laughs> I, I also have um, a little bit of a suggestion here. I don't actually think it's necessary, but you could have, like, pistons that come up when you press the button around the decorated pot, and then they go down when you're ready to click. Oh, yeah, that could work, yeah, to prevent people from going early. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I thought I thought that might be, because then, then you could actually be clicking. And, like, as soon as the piston comes down, then you legitimately get the first click. Right, right, this yeah. That's cool. That would be cool. That would be cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll consider Very that. Fun. Yeah. Well, thanks for playing, X. This was fun. <laughs> it was good fun. Yeah, I'm gonna, I might challenge other people to this and put wages on it again. This could be a, a diamond um, earning scheme for me, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Feel free to do so. <laughs> Feel free to do so. And thanks for playing again, man. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are now back at the fireworks factory, and we have a lot of firework crafting to do, because today we are going to fight the end dragon. More specifically, we're going to fight it about 20 times to open up all the end gateways, and we want to do so with fireworks. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll try and make a super firework, similar to the Hawkeye Velocite firework we had uh, and gave Scar last time, because these things, they do a lot of damage. They got a lot of breaks. That's a lot of firepower <laughs> in a firework like that. Uh, so we're going to try and make our own, uh, but we'll try and make it like end theme. So I've put in some purple dyes in here. So we got some purple dyes in here, some purple dyes in here. And then we're going to make it uh, a flight duration two since we're shooting these out of crossbows. Uh, so we'll have six breaks in each firework. And hopefully that'll be enough damage to slay the dragon relatively quickly. So if we hit this button here, we should see two firework stars come in at a time. One, two. One, two. And then the third one will craft up. And then everything resets. Very good. And then into here. Yeah. And we get the purple ball. So we have six breaks in this one firework. And so if we then shoot this guy off, we should see... Pretty heavy concentration of explosions. If we test the damage, let's just test this out real quick. Let's uh, reset our spawn. Put this on, and let's just get all of our stuff off. How much damage does this do? Oh yeah, eight hearts. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid damage, uh, and it has some decent range too, since it's flight duration too. So, hopefully this will help us to slay some dragons. So, uh, let's just let this run. We'll get up our numbers here in terms of the number of rockets we have and then head out to face the dragon Permit office by the way guys i thought for one of the dragon fights we could do mm -hmm. uh fireworks only i made like three different types of fireworks and i got some crossbows here for you guys if you need some to shoot the oh great yeah that sounds awesome fireworks. oh we have to just the dragon head on do we yeah feel free to put the dragon head on <laughs> i think i'm gonna wear i'm gonna wear one yeah uh, okay. oh, if you I have one, one, one before, yeah there's some in here yeah feel free are we ready to go? We ready to go? I think we're, we're ready. 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 Oh, we're ready. All right. Ready? Let's do it. I don't have a dragon head. Oh. We'll have one oh. after the first kill. Yep, there you go. Oh, true. Okay. True. Oh, that is true. Ooh, stays in the end now. Mm hmm. Fancy. Interdimensional. Oh, yeah. Hermitcraft. Yeah. I would say Hermitcraft is very sophisticated. Like all of them. I think them we need to kill a one. <laughs> I think we need to kill 19 yeah. to open all the things, Holy and that's the goal for today. Okay. Yeah, we're we're doing all of them, but like I said, you guys are more than welcome to stay for one, a few, how many, how many yeah, you want. Yeah, so. take a minute. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Are you guys ready? Ready. Mm. Let's ready. Do it. I'm ready. Let's do it. Are we? Even oh, somebody looked at the Enderman. crystals. They're gonna respawn, oh. right? So we we gotta Dang wait. It, I don't have a good sword. Dang it. Oh, oh no, Joe. <laughs> oh. One down already. Wow, Joe, that, that was okay, fast, I'm on my way dude. back. Wait yeah, for Joe. Wait back. for Joe. I'll wait. I'll wait. How did that happen? I don't think I looked at him. Uh. <laughs> Joe, poor I, Joe. The, okay, I didn't bring a good sword because I was like, well, we're not gonna use the swords on the dragons. So, yeah, apparently we still need good swords for. I wasn't sure if the dragon head would uh, count as like a pumpkin head almost effect, but I guess not. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. All right, everybody set. 
Yeah. You ready? Leon, Joe, I guess. Yeah. I'm set. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Are we worrying about the crystals at all? Or are we just going to try to kill it before it can heal? Oh, I think we can take out the crystals. Use the fireworks to take out the crystals, maybe. Yeah, that's uh, fine. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Spawning in the first one. Let's do it. Oh, here we go. Let's do it, baby. Uh -oh. oh, somebody looked Someone. at Enderman. Oh, somebody Someone else looked at Enderman. There's a safe pillar over here. Careful, careful. I'll be careful. It's, wait, is that, isn't that going to fill with obsidian, though? Oh, oh no! Oh no! No! Impulse. I killed myself. Oh no! Impulse, get out of the, get out of the thing. Impulse, you're gonna be. Yeah, that was cool. Oh, oh, barely escaped. I was not prepared for that. Dude. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. That was great. That was. I was oh, not prepared for that. Did you break the crystal? How high did these? How high did these? I shot myself with the rocket. Should go accident, pretty far. So. I think. Yeah, that's what I saw. Yeah. Oh. Whoops. They, they, they don't break the crystals. Oh, I don't think they're breaking the crystals. Oh, do they not? Oh, my heart. Oh, interesting. I don't have a bow, so. Oh, yeah. I have a I regular bow. Yeah. Yeah, know. take them out. One. Take them out. That's surprising they don't take out the. Yeah, I would have thought they did. Yeah. Regular crystals, yeah. Wow. Hey. I'm doing great. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Oh. I'm gonna fly up. I'm gonna fly up. Yeah, that is strange that it doesn't blow up the crystal. Oh, look out. That's a bummer. You think it would be like, like a TNT effect where it's like a blast effect? Mm-hmm. It's so pretty. <laughs> Back to an act my I feel like we're not doing a lot of damage on his bar. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of yeah, yeah, damage. He's just healing. You can't shoot him on the portal, remember? Wait, help! What? What do you mean? Oh, he can't do, he doesn't, he doesn't take uh, you need to do damage. sword damage on the on the totem there. I don't have a sword. Yep. I mean, he still takes damage though. At least I thought he was. No, not not while he's yeah, on. Yeah, see. The yeah, when he there. does a direct hit, it's taking damage. Oh really? Yeah. Interesting. It's the explosive damage things. from the rockets. Uh, different no. range. Ah, Someone's gonna break that one in the cage though. He's not taking health damage otherwise. Oh, I see. I see. There you go. There's one more. Oh, slow falling with an elytra looks so funny. There's two. Yeah, you gotta get the you gotta get the vantage point. Upper vantage point. Still another two crystals for those that are for those fancy arrows. Oh, dragon, look out! Got him. Don't, don't, shoot, don't shoot! Don't shoot the small dragon. Here, I'll um, I'll get crystal? rid of the totem or the pillars. There's one more. Did you ceiling? Oh, where's the other one? I got it. Up on the top. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, I thought I got we him. got them all. Come here, guy. There we go. That's a good hit. Oh, nice. Now we're doing some damage. Is it now is it doing, doing damage. decent damage? Yeah. 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 Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Most colorful dragon fight you'll ever see. <laughs> so is sad. anybody else's crossbow taking a ton of damage? Like, maybe I don't have unbreaking on this one, but like, wow. I don't know. Mine is fine, it seems like. I guess yeah, I can run to the Enderman damage, farm really. real quick. Okay. It might take some damage, yeah. Okay, because mine's like down to a quarter of durability. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, I got hit. <laughs> Oh, I'm a dragon in front. Oh, the dragon's stun locked. Woo! Okay, it's taking Ooh, damage now. It's taking this, damage. Is, this is a little tough. Yeah, got a lead I mean, on the lead. Wait, what a roof we should be able to smash it out. When they hit, they do it's good about, damage. It's uh, about to purge right now. It it's might taking be a long while. time to purge. It's been like five minutes. It might be yeah, worthwhile just coming down. What are you doing? There we go. There he is. Oh. Let's go, Woo. dragon. There we go. There we go. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Some big damage. Let's go. Yeah, I got a oh, he's already decent gone. hit in there. Yeah. That was good. We got this now. There oh, yeah, now, it's, now it's much easier. Cubs ah. with a triple shot looks like a cannon up there, man. Woo. That was close. 
This is the way to go, man. The slow falling helps out a ton. You can really. Yeah, it looks like you're literally just them. floating. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, I've got to retreat to fix my crossbow. That's fine. Oh, coming down. Grayson, guys. Uh, perching, perching. We got this. We got this. Oh! Get it! it. Oh, that's, that's so pretty. There it yeah. is! Yeah, let's go! Nice! GG! Uh, nice. did you drop, drop the head? Very good, very good. Oh, no, it's right here. It's right here. Well done, guys. You can pull some. Alright, I'm just gonna push. I just haven't had any onions. Perching is perching! Give me that breath, girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's certainly a line. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. So loud. This thing's getting wrecked. Oh, it's loud. Oh, Woo! man, that took down like half the health. I was stabbing the face with my sword. Most colorful dragon fight ever. <laughs> yeah, it definitely, definitely is. Definitely. It's expensive. True, true. <laughs> you breathe. Oh, there she goes. The fact that I haven't aggroed another Enderman Aww. is pretty awesome so far because I've nothing but looked in the air. <laughs> yeah. What am I having? Dragon's breath! Dragon's breath! No, don't no, jump in front of me! Get the breath! <laughs> Off Damn. the breath! Get the breath! Or, uh, kind of a bad idea. <laughs> oh my god. I, that's the second time I've killed myself with all hand rockets. I'm more of a danger to myself at the moment. Is there any breath around? I haven't got any. Uh, there'll probably be a launch. A mint. Launch. Oh. I'm not shooting. Regular arrows now? On the bright side, I've gotten multiples in my head, so the head shop's gonna be doing very well. Oh, there you <laughs> go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good shot. Oh no! No, no, no! I didn't know it! Oh, no! Oh, oh, no! 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 You might say it was a blast taking out the dragon with some fireworks rockets. We are actually totally out of fireworks now. All the dragon fireworks were used up, and that is actually a pretty quick way to kill the dragon. Especially once you realize you can shoot the dragon on the portal, which is not the way uh, it works with arrows. So once we realized that, it was pretty quick, uh, <laughs> pretty quick uh, slaying of the dragon. And I think we killed about 10 total with the fireworks, and the rest we killed just with traditional like sword and bow. So... Pretty fun time, and with that, let's head back to the base. With the dragon now defeated via fireworks, we're now ready to swoop on into the fireworks factory and do some things here. So if we make our way through the door we built last time, you can see, yeah, opens and closes as we walk toward it and away from it. And let me sort of share with you guys what I'm thinking for the factory. So obviously this is going to be like the first floor here. Now, um, there's no elevator up to the second floor where the actual factory is so kind of an issue and one we're looking to fix today um you can see that hole up there i've just been flying in that hole <laughs> to get to the factory um so we need an elevator here pretty badly um so the plan is like this first floor is going to be more or less like a lobby area i'm thinking you know plants water features maybe some fireworks as you walk through the lobby something of that nature would be kind of cool uh, and then on the far side, like opposite the door, so like over here roughly, this is where I'm thinking we'll have a bubble column upward to the actual factory on the second floor, which is right here. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be sort of the main floor of the factory, where we'll spend the most time. And in fact, we've been spending some time crafting even more fireworks up, because we've been selling these like crazy at the... Uh, the fireworks shop so yeah this is gonna be the main floor we have space to expand over here and add more things uh to craft help us craft fireworks quicker uh which we may do in the near future but this is gonna be the second floor 
Then up to the third floor. I want a third floor. Actually, I need a third floor, let's say. Uh, I need a third floor here because this helps us to craft bone meal here at our bone meal farm. If I just turn this on, bone meal starts getting crafted. Which is pretty useful since that, you know, helps to keep all the above farms stocked, uh, which you'll see. And then we have our dye storage over here, which I like to be able to come into and grab, you know, whatever colors we need. Like if we need purple, grab some purple dye out of here. Uh, and we can also check to make sure we're not overflowing on certain dyes, which we actually are in the case of the light blue dye. Um, so that's useful. So that's why we need the third floor here. I can also top load the factory underneath of us. Uh, if I add a little bit more hopper action, so that's something I can also do from this floor. So we got options here, basically. Then the fourth floor is going to be the actual farms. So the sea pickle farm, all these flower farms up here, which, you know, these feed the dye factory below just by automatically crafting up all the dye. We got the cactus farm up here. We got the cocoa bean farm. We got the shulker box unloader, which we use to load... Uh, flowers from our faraway flower farms like the corn flower farm and the blue orchid farm etc uh, and then I might also want a fifth floor up here just to be able to check in on the villagers and sometimes maybe turn on and off the uh, the flower creators right here so like if I turn this on then I get torch flowers instead of orange dye uh, and the same thing with this one over here if I turn this on uh, I get uh, Pitcher plants instead of uh, cyan dye. Uh, so yeah, it'd be use useful to check in on these guys. So we may have a fifth floor above here. That's purely basically a technical floor. All right, everybody. So here is our elevator. This is both an up and a down elevator. So it's going to take us up to the floors and back down. Uh, we actually have a powdered snow on top of some carpet right here uh, that will break our fall from any height. Uh, and we're basically using the Honey Block Elevator, which I first showcased in Hermitcraft Season 7 in the Pyramid. Uh, if you don't know, basically Honey Blocks are not full blocks, so you can be affected by blocks in the corner. In our case, a bubble column. You can see one of the bubbles going up there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, bubble column in the corner. So if I step into the corner, you'll see the elevator takes us up. Uh, and yeah, this takes us to the second floor. We'll get to this. We've totally redone this area. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, so then if we get back in, uh, we're using a technique that Asuma used to basically control this trap door. So I can just right click this note block. It takes me up to the third floor. Right click again. Takes me up to the fourth floor. And right click one more time. Takes us up to the fifth floor, which is currently the top floor uh, up here. So that's that. Uh, we've added a little bit onto each floor here. Just some copper grates. I want to decorate these floors though. I don't want to just leave them as copper grates. Uh, but it will take some time to do. And then, of course, to get down, you just come down like this. Hit the button. You keep going down like this. You can also, you know, fall faster like that. And then go down. And then you can fall all the way to the bottom because powdered snow uh, with the carpet on top negates all fall damage, which is kind of nice. So that's that. Uh, let's talk about the second floor now because we've totally redone this there's a whole bunch of new stuff and let's just take a look so first of all we redid the floor wasn't liking the the spruce floor it was too much spruce it was too bland um and yeah i thought this just looked a lot better so just went with the tough this is polished tough tough bricks and then throughout the area we have some chiseled tough uh and some chiseled tough bricks like over here for instance near the bed um so yeah, we got all that done. Uh, we added some decoration, of course. We got this guy, uh, Batman, over here uh, because he's Batman, um, which is kind of nice. Also, I will note, this armor, kind of a flex, not going to lie. Kind of a flex. All these are leather armor with netherite trim, so that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, there you go, and they got the bat head up there. Uh, also, some little details. We got the... Uh, fireworks and invisible item frames here but check it out we got the firework unicode symbols on the signs in different colors why well of course because this area can produce fireworks of all sorts of different colors so we have the unicode symbols on there to uh, portray that uh, it's just simply done via the special unicode symbols that uh, minecraft supports so kind of a cool detail there we've re redone this as well so it has the cool like uh wispy 
chiseled tough texture here, which kind of, you know, sort of looks like fireworks a little bit, you know, how they sort of spiral and explode. And yeah, it looks kind of similar to what fireworks look like when they uh, explode. We got the clock there. Uh, and then over here we have, you know, the bed area. I wanted a proper area for the bed because we might be spending a lot of time here. Uh, then we have a bell. No reason. Just thought it would be cool to have a bell here. <laughs> uh, these are for dyeing shulker boxes. If we make shulker boxes of things, uh, we can dye them here and undye them here, uh, I guess is more accurate. Uh, right here. This is actually a functional uh, crafter here. We have some redstone behind this. Um, so effectively, we can quick craft any types of fireworks here. So let's say we have some leftover firework stars, which does sometimes happen uh, if we, for instance, stop the machine over here. Uh, and there's, you know, a firework star or two left in this crafter. Sometimes happens. Uh, so, basically, when that happens, what I want to be able to do is take the firework stars. And we can just come over here. Make sure that this is full up so that all the slots are disabled except for the ones that we want. And so then we can just put this in here. Two crafts and we're done. Put that in there. And that's all there is to it. How easy is that? So, yeah. This basically will auto-craft whenever it receives a signal input of 9. So whenever we yeah, have leftover fireworks stars, we just pop them in there, and it'll craft up the fireworks. We can also use this if we have to, to get flight duration 1 rockets, just by disabling all the slots. Uh, but we're going to just keep uh, one or two slots open all the time, uh, so we can make uh, interesting fireworks with the leftover fireworks stars. Uh, also, we have mass storage here for fireworks. So you can see we used some... Uh, yeah, things on the sides here. These are just uh, item frames, I believe. Invisible item frames. With the firework charge, the feather, and the wither skeleton skull. Because these are going to be where we store our fireworks. So, as an example, we have all these fireworks we crafted, which I showed you earlier. So, let's just say we grab an assortment of these. Uh, so, these are star shape and different colors. That's the flight duration one. So, let's just see where these go. So, like, for instance... If we look here, this is a yellow star shape. So yellow, and then star shape is in the middle. So these go right there. This is star shape light gray. So light gray over here, star shape in the middle. Boom. Got that. Star shape pink right here. We got star shape red in the middle here. And then star shape light blue right here. So this is just a way to organize things and, yeah, make it so that we can you know, store our fireworks uh, from the mass crafting firework factory over here. Oh, by the way, these uh, these shelves here, these are where we're going to store the orders we do, the custom orders, like the past custom orders. So it'll be like a nice, like, historic way to uh, keep those alive. We don't have any of those yet in here. you got to move them over from our base, but that's the plan with these chisel bookshelves. We'll actually use these for custom orders that we receive. So all this extra storage, all these extra things we've added here, kind of cool, but you know me. If you've been following this channel for any length of time, you know I'm a big fan of secrets. And this factory is going to be full of them. And you might have already sort of inferred one if you're watching very, 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 very closely. But if not, I'm going to show you guys what we got to go in here in terms of secrets. So uh, we have the way down to the main entrance or the main door here, right? This is fine. We can just drop down, land on the powdered snow, walk out the front door. That's cool, but is it the really cool way to get out of the fireworks factory? It is not. It is not. Let's go back and up our elevator. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we have the cool way to leave the fireworks factory right back here behind the painting. By the way, this is accessible from any floor on the fireworks fa in the fireworks factory. So if we were, up, let's say, at a higher floor... We can still use this same method of escape. So let's just say we're way up here. Let's just go to the top floor. Why not? Uh, we have a painting here. Just so happens to be there. Kind of a peculiar spot for it. But if we jump on in. The cool way to exit the fireworks factory. And we just drop on in. Our fall damage is negated by some powdered snow. We then see a mysterious button and some slime blocks. I wonder what could happen. That's right. The cool way to exit the fireworks factory is revealed. So, then we just press the button. It goes back like nothing ever happened. And so, if anything ever goes down inside the fireworks factory, we got that cool way to exit. It's a little secret back there. Uh, 
so don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, so kind of an interesting thing right there. Uh, like I said, I probably won't use that too often, but it's there if we need it. It's there if we need it. It's also uh, actually is faster than just sliding down the honey. Uh, although we can just, you know, go straight down like that too. So lots of options here. I like a lot of mobility in my builds. And yeah, hopefully you guys do as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that, that is all for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to hit the subscribe button, as that will notify you when I upload next. Thank you so very much, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Farewell.